hey guys and welcome back to our channel hacked by banks if you've been following then you know we've been working on completing our laundry room through a series of diy projects well the laundry room is now complete and i'm here to give you a tour of the laundry room and tell you about some of the projects that we did to complete this space So as I said before, we worked on our laundry room through a series of DIY projects. Some of those projects include painting the wall behind me and I have a video up on that. We also installed some cabinets, built a counter and put some epoxy on it. We installed our sink and the faucet ourselves. We installed shelving and we added a few nicks and knacks, a few personal touches here and there that I'll show you along the way. So just to give you a background of what it was like before, this is what our laundry room looked like before we did anything to it. When we moved in, there were just two plastic sinks in the room and that was it. A space for your washer and dryer and some cabinets which were used for brooms and other things. We thought that this room would be a low hanging fruit, meaning a very easy room to transform. And so we decided to just sprouse it up and personalize it to make it exactly how we wanted it. All right, so let's jump right in and I will give you a walkthrough of the laundry room and some of the things that we have in here. And also talk about some of the projects that we did. One of the first things that we did when we came in here was remove the sinks. Once we took out the sinks, we decided a layout for the laundry room. And I also did a mood board with some of the elements or most of the elements that i wanted to see in the room and i'll show you a picture of the mood board right here so the first thing we did when we started to transform the space was to install a cabinet and paint it the very first cabinet that we installed it was the lazy susan we took it out of the kitchen and put it in the laundry room because well, we redid the kitchen as well, but that's for another video. I'm definitely, I definitely can't wait to show you guys that transformation. But yes, yeah, so we upcycled the cabinet and put it in the laundry room. We just painted it and changed the hardware and it was like new. The next thing that we did was we painted the wall. And we decided that we wanted to do something different on the wall to make it pop, not just put one coat of paint or two coats of paint on it and leave it plain. So we decided to do a geometric pattern on the wall and we did a video on that before. I'll link it below so that you guys can go ahead and check it out and let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. Next, Rory and I decided that we wanted to have some counter space and a sink, not just a regular um, not just a regular laundry sink we wanted a kitchen sink somewhat a kitchen sink in the laundry room and a nice faucet because we wanted the laundry room to look good as you know watch a lot of HGTV and so we got some ideas from there with how we wanted our laundry room to look so the next thing that we did was to build the counter we built the counter out of wood it was just a wooden counter and we decided that we would epoxy it later down we're going to be taking this kitchen sink and this kitchen faucet and install it in our laundry room. So it's going to give us a, a nice modern look. And this is actually an undermo kitchen sink, but we're going to install it through the top. So we installed the sink and the faucet and Rory did that all by himself. Yes, Rory. Remember I told you Rory is a self-proclaimed plumber and carpenter and everything Rory tries to do everything and he does pretty good at most things it took us a little while to decide what we wanted to do with the counters there were some counters here before which were in the kitchen and we were going to reuse those counters um, we tried to cut it and it got damaged and so we ended up having to reimagine the counter uh so we decided that since it's a diy we would do something that would be a diy and not just buy a slab somewhere and put it put it in the laundry room that's when we decided that we would just epoxy it no the epoxy process itself wasn't bad i mean we kind of went overboard with the color but it still looks nice we like it in the space 
um, and we do have another epoxy project coming up which will definitely have full footage for from beginning to end and we'll also put it on this channel so that you guys can see exactly how we got that project done all right so let me go ahead and give you a tour of the laundry room i'll continue to tell you more about the projects that we did i'll also show you some of the gadgets that we got and let you know where we got them based on our personal preference and some of the other small projects that we did um, to complete the room and personalize it so that it's our space. All right guys, so officially welcome to our laundry room. So I'll start here and work my way around the room. So when we moved in, this cabinet was already here um, and there were some other cabinets lying in this wall but they were really high and I'm short so I couldn't reach them. So we decided to take them down and only keep this one. This is our broom closet. All we did was painted these and change the hardware to gold. I'll leave a link in the description box for the hardware that we used. We got, of course, we got them on Amazon. So I'll just leave a link and you guys can go and check it out if you're interested. One of the next things that I'm going to show you is something pretty cool. So every Jamaican you have to have an iron board, right? You have to have an iron board. So what we did was we got an iron board mount for ours so that we don't have to lean it up because we have one of the real old time iron board them and if you drop on your foot, you're bound to lose a toe. So we got a mount which holds our iron and it has the iron board. This iron board didn't come with a hook and so what I did was installed one of the pulls one of the cabinet pulls on the back of it to allow us to be able to hang it on this mount and this is genius and it saves a lot of space hanging right there so yeah i love this i'll also leave a link to this below because i got it on amazon as well so the next thing is our hanging clothes hanging rack so when we iron we want to be able to just hang the clothes somewhere until we can pick, put them in our closet and Rory made this from scratch using, well, I have to get the name of them things that I use, galvanized fittings, galvanized pipe fittings that he bought at the hardware store. And he put them together and make them look nice and industrial for me. And it fits, it kind of blends in with the light, even though this is silver and that is gold. It probably wouldn't make sense for us to paint this because then we, it would probably just chip up if we spray it. So we left it, we left it chrome. And of course, the little sign up there, laundry today or naked tomorrow. Next, we have the epoxy countertops that we did. Uh, we lost a lot of the footage when we're doing these countertops, but we have some more epoxy projects coming up. And so we will definitely be doing proper videos of those. We got a little carried away with the color and we kind of splash color everywhere on this countertop. I mean, it looks nice. It looks good, a little bit overdone, mm -hmm. but it's, we can still work with this countertop as is. And we have our front load dryers. We've had these for a while. We got them at Active. They were pretty reasonable at the time and we still have them. We've had them for over two years and they've never given us any problems. So this is our little utility cabinet. And this is the Lazy Susan that I told you guys about. This was in the kitchen and we repurposed it and put it in the laundry room. This is another cool pool that we got on Amazon and I'll leave a link to it so that if you guys are interested, you can go ahead and get it. And the closet is a bit untidy, so we'll just keep it closed <laughs> right now. So this is the sink and the faucet that Rory installed. He actually got this sink at Jamaica Plumbing and the fittings and everything. He got at Jamaica Plumbing and then he installed it from scratch himself uh, and it doesn't leak. So that's a good sign. And the faucets that we have here, we got it on Amazon. It's a gold faucet. We've been 
really into goal fixtures so we do have a lot of goal or brass if you want to call it that uh we got this on amazon at a pretty darn reasonable price um i'll also leave a link to that below if you guys want to go and check it out and see if it's something that you like no the shelves were kind of sort of here before but not like this we rearrange them and put the shelf in on one side so now it houses our little plants and or some of our laundry detergents and tissue and um paper towels ah uh, right and these bottles i actually got them at azan's if you're interested in getting bottles, bottles to hold your laundry detergent what we end up doing is buying the laundry detergent and fabric softener in bulk and so we just pour it here for ease of putting into the washing machine um right and then we have some more laundry detergent here and clothes pins in bottles which i think is pretty cute we got these bottles at kazan's if you're interested you can go ahead and check it out definitely check it out there so this is our laundry room this is our little space we try to organize it as much as possible and make it you know our own space exactly what we want and it's pretty functional for our laundry room so there you have it guys thanks for watching that's our complete laundry room makeover if you like it give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and leave us a comment below let us know what you like let us know what you want to try what you would try for your own laundry room and you know share the video with your friend them and ensure that you're subscribed to our channel because we have a lot more diy projects home projects home improvements and decor coming your way bye